Hello everyone, this is your Monday morning devotional. Well, it seems that atheists are in need of publicity. Several years ago, the British Humanist Association, along with the support of scientist and author Richard Dawkins, raised some $200,000 in a campaign to promote an atheist message. It unveiled its advertisements on 800 buses across England. Their slogan said, there's probably no God. Now stop worrying and enjoy your life. Other countries are planning to follow suit. Now what's interesting about this effort, aside from the fact that these people feel that they need to promote such an idea in an already secular and largely unbelieving society, is that their message is not even atheistic. They say there's probably no God. This isn't the robust atheism that declares unequivocally that there is no God, no heaven, no spiritual life. This is a meek form of agnosticism that sits on the fence, unwilling to go either way in its pronouncement. They even have the psychology wrong. You know, committed believers as well as atheists don't worry. They're too busy believing or disbelieving. It's the ones dithering between the two who wring their hands in stressful uncertainty. As an ad campaign, this one fails miserably because it only reinforces the doubt of the ones who paid for it without winning any new converts. You know, I think Christians should mount a similar campaign. Only one slogan would be needed, what King David said in Psalms chapter 14, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv. May the Lord keep you and bless you this week. Discussion questions. In your opinion, what part of the Christian faith do you find hardest to believe? Why? Number two, in a discussion with a non-believer, what argument would you feel is the strongest for belief? Why? Number three, what do you look forward to the most about heaven? Why this?